I am Janine Rundle, the uh, co-founder and director of music education and scholarships for the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. We're a 501c3. We've been around since 2003. And we're a volunteer, all volunteer run board. No one is paid, but we do put in a lot of passion and all of it goes to the most part to our legacies and to our students. So this year, I wanna say congratulations to our 2021 Oregon Music Hall of Fame College Scholarship recipients. We had over a hundred applications this year. Tough, tough, tough to figure out who is going to be the only four that receive each a $2,500 scholarship. But we did come down to four. Our four scholarship winners this year, Thomas Green on the double bass, from Medford High School, Medford, Oregon. We have Kathleen Taylor, voice classical and opera from Century High School in Hillsboro, Oregon. Then we have Gracie Stearns, oboe and voice soprano, St. Helens High School in St. Helens, Oregon. And finally, Ashley Yoon. She's a violinist from Lake Ridge High School in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Hi, my name is Ashley Yoon, and I'll be playing the canzonetta from the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. That was a fabulous performance on the violin. I can Thank tell you've you. been practicing very hard for a very long time. Thank you. And uh, my question is, you had written something about uh, playing with the Yoon Trio. Can you tell yeah. me what that's all about? Yeah, of course. So I have two older sisters, Lauren, who's the oldest. She plays piano. And Taylor, she's the second oldest. She plays cello. And then I played violin probably about a year or two after Taylor started playing her cello. And my mom thought it'd be a great idea if me, Taylor, and Lauren kind of joined together as the trio and all of our last names being Yoon. The Yoon trio was born. And then we've been playing as a trio for about 11 years now. We definitely played a lot more often when we were younger, but since now we're all headed to college or already in college, we have lesser chances to play together. But each time we play is just so much more worthwhile and it's amazing and we play benefit concerts to raise money for the Lake Oswego school district sometimes and we Very also nice. go to retirement homes and play benefit concerts and then we all just try to spread the mission of bringing peace through music which is the universal language I believe. Beautiful Ashley I love I love your mission I love your Thank mission. You. <laughs> Did you just graduate or? Yes I graduated just... in June. In June. So, wow, you're off to college. Where are you going to college, yeah. Ashley? I'm going to Chapman University. It's in the city of Orange in California. It's a small private school, but I was looking more for more of a smaller school, which I'm really, like, really grateful that I can go attend there. Wonderful. Do you have friends going there also? or that I've got a couple of high school friends going, so it should be really exciting to see oh, them good. in that kind of setting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. You know, you play a lot of classical music, and I'm sure when you were with the trio, you were probably playing a lot of classical music. And also, you were with the Portland... Portland Youth Philharmonic. Youth Philharmonic. There you go. How long were you with them? When did you start? Um, I, was, I started when I was seven, so just a year off of when I started playing the violin. And then the last season was my last season because I graduated, and I was in the organization for 11 years in total. Well, yeah, I was reading one of your recommendation letters, which beautiful recommendation letters from many of your instructors and teachers. Those are very strong things speaking about your abilities and everything. But uh, was it Christina Stingle had mentioned that with the Portland Youth Philharmonic, you were their longest consecutive member. Yes, I was. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's you. 
that's some focus. That's a lot of focus. It was so, really uh, rewarding, though. I loved yeah. being part of the Philharmonic. Yeah. Do you have any music that you like to listen to on your own that isn't classical? Um, I've got, honestly, a big, big genre of music that I really like to listen to. I love bands like the Fleet Foxes, but then I also listen to, like, the new music that comes out with my friends, like rap music, pop music, anything of that. But then, especially when I'm with my dad, he loves listening to Queen. Um, I really love Queen. I've listened to probably all their songs before. So a lot of old music I really love enjoying listening to as well. Were there any uh, times in the time that you've been playing the violin? It, you said something about you had an injury. And I was like, mm -hmm. what? So it must have been upper body so you couldn't play the violin? Yeah, so I got a concussion. Um, I think it was my freshman year. And then... Uh, I didn't, I had like a lot of, I had like kind of lost mobility in my shoulders and my hands a little bit, which caused me to not be able to play violin for five months. And honestly, during those five months, I honestly thought about just like stopping in total because it was just like that much painful and that much more hard for me. And then I just realized that like distance makes the heart grow fonder. And I realized that I can't really let go of this big part of my life, which is why I'm so excited to be able to major in violin when I go to, up to Chapman as well. And I'm just really excited to see what this new world holds for me. Way to persevere. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's huge because, uh, yeah, getting hurt like that, that takes a lot. And then to get back mm -hmm. on the, get back on the violin again, not the horse. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you had also talked about how you are a co-founder and a director of Olive Bomb. Yeah, it's called a Living Bomb. Bomb. Mm -hmm. Okay, a Living Bomb. Yeah. Can you talk to me about that? What is that? Yeah, so a Living Bomb, it's a nonprofit organization where high school musicians come together to play music and just promote more peace as well. Kind of like the Olive Branch, extending that branch of peace. And then a couple of my high school friends and I, we've like created this group. And then we actually travel down to the border of North and South Korea at the demilitarized wow. zone. Mm -hmm. And we were able to partner with um, a program called Lindenbaum. It's an organization in Korea. It's also a nonprofit organization. And I we partnered with Korean students and students from the Yale Orchestra and the Harvard Orchestra. And we're able to promote and play a peace concert right on the wow. DMV. Yeah. It was that, really, I mean, really special. Every bit of that is amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. number one, you're playing in a foreign country. Number yeah. two, you're playing with all of these heavy duty players from mm -hmm. all these different universities and you're still in high school. Mm -hmm. It that was very daunting. Yeah. Daunting and special all at the same mm -hmm. time. Exactly. You, you just keep breaking down all those barriers. Keep going. Yeah, it was really, really fun. I've definitely learned a lot of things, not only to be a better musician, but to just be a better person and... Definitely that experience is very high on my list as life-changing. So you performed with Michael Allen Harrison. Yep. We were performed one time um, on the program. He um, hosted this program called the 10 Grand Concert. Mm -hmm. He put 10 Grand Pianos and a lot of his students and a lot of musicians around the Portland metropolitan area come together in this big concert. And then me, Taylor, and Lauren were lucky enough to be part of that concert, which was amazing as well. Well, you know what? Michael Ellen Harrison happens to be in our Oregon Music Hall of Fame. Oh, really? Yeah, which one day we hope that you will be there also. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Um, I don't think so. I think... One of the most important parts of being a musician, especially being in high school, is that I've been seeing kind of a trend of a lot of people not being as interested in, in playing an instrument really? as early on as some of these musicians have. And I think it's just really, really important for more people to be aware of like the magic of playing an instrument. And even though it does seem a little scary, picking up this piece of wood, it seems like, and just creating something incredibly special out of it, it is very taunting. and I feel like just going through that entire process and unlocking this new door of like possibilities is just something that I think everybody should be able to experience. And it's never too late for anybody to start picking up an instrument or composing or conducting anything in the musical world is just something that is very special. 
Wonderful. You must have had a good music teacher at school also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Christy Stengel, she was my music teacher at school. She's a very big mentor in my life and she helped me through a lot of tough times and just helped me learn a lot of things about being a leader and being a better musician as well. That is just so fabulous. You know, uh, that's kind of what Oregon Music Hall of Fame is about with our music education programs. Mm -hmm. So is about making sure that our schools still have good music teachers so that we can yes. get great musicians out of there, you know, that yeah. want to continue and keep going further. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing teacher. You're going to be getting uh, $2,500 to go towards your schooling at Chapman That's University. <laughs> How would that Oregon Music Hall of Fame uh, scholarship help you? That would help me just pursue my dream. I really want to become part of like movie soundtrack and music in film and in a lot of other productions like that. And I think this scholarship would be just an amazing jumpstart for me to just get headed in there. And I'm planning to be part of some quartets and the orchestra at Chapman University. And I'm just very, very, very thankful from the bottom of my heart that I get to receive this scholarship. So thank you. You are very welcome. We just, we want to inspire you and hope that you continue to mentor and inspire others. I'm very inspired. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Yay. Can you see it? Yes, I can. The thing that's so striking about Omhoff is the mission, which I completely uh, dig. Uh, recognizing Oregon's rich musical history and using that as a way to help further advance today's youth so that they can, there can be more people with more opportunities to continue on with the art form. Hi, I'm Terry Courier, president of the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. And we're very excited to have the Oregon Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony back this October, Saturday, October 9th at seven o'clock at the Aladdin Theater. Tickets are gonna go on sale on Friday, July 30th. And we'll also be announcing all the inductees that day. There will be three musical performances during the night. It's a fundraiser for our music education and scholarship programs. And we've been doing this for 14 years now. We give away four scholarships every year to high school seniors that are going on to further their music education at a higher level. <laughs>